So Chainlink has a lot of different capabilities that it offers. It offers data, compute, and cross-chain all in one system. And the ability to then combine all those different um, capabilities into one application, while all of them are run by a single security model and eventually a single payment abstraction layer with a universal uh, gas token and, and a single way of building things and a single way of understanding security, that is a very important uh, quality because while there might be someone who tries to make a different set of data oracles or a different set of compute oracles or a different set of cross-chain oracles, there is no one who has reached, um, or in my opinion anytime soon will reach the point where they have all the different oracles of all the different types in one place that you can utilize by learning the security model and the, the interface and the payment system of one place, right? So that one place will get you the compute, the data, and the cross-chain value connectivity that you need. And this is uh, what makes systems like AWS quite important for developers, is that you basically learn AWS. You learn how AWS works, you learn the interfaces and model for using AWS services, and then that is the group of services that you use, and you view yourself as an AWS user, as an AWS developer. And so now there are already Chainlink developers, not in the sense that they're building Chainlink, even though a lot of different developers uh, are building Chainlink, but they are kind of dedicated users of Chainlink infrastructure, whatever chain they happen to be on. And the Chainlink network also allows developers to use multiple chains at the same time. Even if they start on one chain, they can then end up using multiple chains through the, the platform. So it's a platform in the sense that it allows all these different capabilities and that it can actually generate computation about any class of uh, data or compute or cross-chain that developers need. Uh, and this uh, means that it'll have even more and more and more categories of data, compute, and cross-chain connectivity, which will make it a more and more advanced platform. And you as a developer will look at the Chainlink platform and then you look at you know, three disconnected startups that have nothing to do with each other, all have different security models, all have different security risks, all have different payment systems, all have different downtimes, different problems. And your choice will be to evaluate the security of three or four or five different systems that don't work together well, that have different security models, that have different security risks, or evaluating one system that has a similar security model, has a single uh, unified interface, has a single unified payment abstraction layer, the universal gas token, and really the simplicity of interacting with all those uh, separate building blocks of your application is what developers uh, look for when they're, when they're choosing a system to invest their education, invest their effort into learning. And so the Chainlink network has now reached this point where it's a platform where if you basically learn Chainlink, you learn how to use the Chainlink system properly. You don't just get one thing or two things, you get 20 things. And then eventually you'll be getting 40 things and 50 things and a thousand things. And so it just becomes progressively more useful for you to learn Chainlink than to use the same amount of effort to learn any one other system that only gives you one or two things. This is one of the big advantages of it being a platform today. And as the Chainlink network has more Oracle network types, more Oracle network uh, data networks and more Oracle network compute networks and more Oracle network bridges than any other system, this uh, advantage will just, just massively grow over time.